Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 4th day of March 2022, I'd like to take you over to Jim Bullion so we can look at the spot prices. Uh, yes, look at this. It looks like uh, they got a message here for us. Thank you for visiting. Please note that we do not offer international shipping at this time. We only ship within the United States. Ay, ay, ay. ay and to U.S. military boxes. I wonder if that's in the lower 48 uh, and not Alaska and Hawaii. That's really interesting. So it looks like um, we have to refresh this page. It's been a while. Looks like gold is up 1055 to 1952.18. See, that's why I didn't want to refresh because uh, I'd lose that message. Silver uh, up 5 cents, 25.31. Platinum up $2.28 to 1095.72. And palladium up 14.88 to 28.38. Well, that's a lot of eights. That's got to be good luck, right? How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, eights. Good Lord. Now, in stock silver, 741. Next stop today is going to be over here at mining.com. Copper close to record. Oh, boy. Zinc at 15-year high. Nickel nears 28,000 as metal price rally gains momentum. There's so much going on, folks. Um, it says here on Thursday, copper prices rallied for a third straight session with May futures jumping to a high of 4.7825. Uh, pound that's ten thousand five hundred forty five dollars a ton in new york levels last seen in may last year when the bellwether metal hit an all-time high here we go aluminum hit another record at 37.10 a ton uh let's see uh, nickel jumped six percent to its highest level uh since april 2011 that's huge uh zinc has joined the rally zinc top four thousand dollars a ton for the first time in nearly 15 years uh, after rising some 4% during the day. Um, and zinc inventories are at their lowest point since July 2020. And look at this. Uh, LME registered warehouse inventories for nickel are below 80,000 tons, a level dating back to 2019, with 52% of that, over half, is already uh, spoken for. And it's um, going to be booked for delivery of that 80,000. So it looks like um, low inventories, high demand, and high prices, right? So that's got to be interesting for our money, right? Our circulating coin. So here I am again at U.S. Coin Rolls Calculator. And folks, this is just such a, a fluid situation. I had to revisit this today. Now, I want to show you here are 50 rolls of copper cents, 95% copper cents. All right. And this is pre-1982 copper. And if you have 50 rolls, that is worth in face value, metal value rather, of uh, 7886 now check this out for the zinc and cents now uh we were like 25 dollars just broke just broke uh barely the 25 dollar mark but look at this this morning we are already a dollar past that easily on this we're 2619 um for just a roll of pennies and that's metal content so zinc is definitely playing a huge part now check this out this is the the nickel Okay, I remember this was at about $138 last week. Yeah, okay, right? Oh, boy. Roll of 50, uh, uh, 40 Jefferson Nichols. We got 50 of them. $151.95. Folks, this is just remarkable. And it really makes me um, think that the United States Mint will, if this trend continues in the uh, metal prices, correct? If this trend continues, the United States Mint, here we are, is going to be discontinuing at least the Lincoln cent and the uh, Jefferson nickel, in my opinion. And so because of that, I would say it would be wise, in my opinion, to gather up some 2022 Philadelphia and Denver Lincoln cents, as well as Jefferson Nichols from that time. Okay, next thing I want to do here is a lot going on. I want to show you this. Now, this is the Maya Angelou quarters. We know all about them. And um, when they first dropped, they were pretty expensive. Uh, and then the price kind of leveled out a little bit, you know, uh, kind of dropped. But it just got back up again because look at this. This is just yesterday. The sales for PDS roll is at $199.95. So, I mean, if it's just remarkable. Uh, the amount of money that people are paying for these uh, three roll sets. It's just remarkable. So if you're able to get in on that, congratulations. Uh, if not, um, well, there's always the Sally Ride enrollments. Um, however, you won't be able to get the highly coveted three roll uh, set enrollment, um, regrettably. But the other uh, items are up for enrollment, which is incredible, actually. I'm kind of surprised by that. Now, the next thing I want to talk about here is the American Women Quarters proof set enrollment. Um, somebody had showed us something yesterday. I don't remember who it was. I don't want to get their name wrong, and I don't want to give props to the wrong person. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But this is the American Women Quarters 2022 proof set. And all right, it does say vintage limit none, product limit none, household order limit none. Um, however, 
if we look at the view page source, okay, if we go here, we know that there are 40,180. There actually were 40,184, uh, but that dropped off. Now, I didn't hit refresh in a while because somebody had mentioned this number to us, and we believe this is the remaining items, the remaining American Women Quarters proof set, okay? This is the remainder what's left, what's going to be available for sale when these drop on March 8 in four short days from now, okay? Now I'm going to hit refresh to see how many of these have uh, disappeared. 4585 goes to, and it looks like we haven't lost any, which is good because uh, it actually gives people um, opportunity to get these because um, if you go to the um, eBay website, you look at these five quarters, right? These five proof quarters, uh, this one's selling for forty-two seventy-five, and I think that one honestly is probably the closest to the most realistic price for these particular coins. Because if you're pricing it at forty-two seventy-five, I mean that's eight dollars and uh, maybe some change per. But I really think that each of these particular uh, quarters is at least worth ten dollars, um, and that would make the set worth fifty dollars in my opinion, not thirty ninety-five, not thirty thirty-seven. Um, in fact, I think. Look at this, okay. Uh, this is a Maya Angelou silver proof. That's nineteen ninety nine. Uh, are there any just regular proof uh, coins, right? Well, I bet there are, um, and and I imagine those could be selling for anywhere between uh, eight and fifteen dollars. And if that's the case, yeah, here we go. If you're selling a S uh, um, Maya Angelou proof quarter for eight seventy five, and there's five of those in the set, you're looking at least forty dollars and change, right? Uh, there's a proof quarter clad. For nine twenty-five, yeah, exactly. So um, individually, these are going for eight nine bucks, and what does that say about the set? That easily could sell for forty to fifty dollars, not the thirty dollars that I'm I'm seeing, and that's just my opinion. Um, now, some big news came out at the United States Mint uh, yesterday, and they finally um, put up the National Purple Heart Hall of Honor twenty twenty-two colorized silver dollar. <laughs> Here it is on the uh, Mint website schedule. Um, I think I just passed it. Nope, I sure didn't. And bam, there it is. So here we are. The American Women Quarters for the Dr. Sally ride is on the 22nd. And then two days later, we have that colorized silver dollar um, coming out. So that is going to be an incredible, incredible week. And then five short days later, we're going to have that silver proof set. So like I was saying earlier in one of my other videos, uh, March has a tremendous amount of offerings this year it really does and it's just incredible and um you know i i wanted to add a little bit more to um i guess this conversation that we're having uh because especially when it comes to i guess the base metals you know um we really don't know what's happening with this and i know i'm kind of going off the rails here but i really believe that the 2022 uh coins may be the, the last the United States Mint makes. I really, really do. Um, it's just one of those things. Uh, got a gut feeling. And it's not gas. At least I hope not. Now, this is the National Purple Heart Hall of Honor 2022 Colorized Silver Dollar. It's available for sale March 24, 2022 at noon Eastern time for $95. There is a mintage limit, rather, product limit of 25000 household order limit of one. Now, it says mintage limit across uh, all products. That means all like the silver dollars, right? Uh, but this particular product has a mintage limit of 25000 And I looked at the uh, view page source on this particular one, and I'll hit Control-F, and I think it said exactly 25000 Here, hyphen A, and there you go. There's the number, 25000 exactly. So that's kind of remarkable. And I think this is going to be kind of a big deal. It says here, orders will be accepted through TBD or until the limit is reached, which is March 24, or until the limit is reached. And I believe that 25,000 will probably sell out the first day. Not sure how quickly in the first day, um, you know, as far as terms of hours, but I do believe it will be gone and you'll have to pick that up on the secondary market and says here please make sure your credit card is not scheduled to expire prior to the shipping date to ensure prompt delivery of your order that's right that's huge a lot of people who purchased the morgans when they first started doing these pre-sales last year uh found out the hard way um that that really is not an ideal situation now they don't have a shipping date for this product that's to be determined it is minted at the west point mint it does uh, it is accompanied by a certificate of authenticity and it says here the national purple heart 
Hall of Honor's mission is to commemorate the service and sacrifice of men and women who were killed or wounded in action representing Purple Heart recipients from the Civil War to the present day. The Purple Heart is awarded to members of the United States Armed Forces who have been wounded or killed in enemy action. The National Purple Heart Honor mission is dedicated to paying tribute to our nation's combat wounded, wounded through special outreach and educational programming. That's huge. I mean, this is a really big deal. And I think it's the very, very first time that the United States has put the Purple Heart on a coin. And um, and it's got our nation's uh, first president on it, too. It says, obverse, the design features the Purple Heart medal with purple shading around the bust of George Washington. Inscriptions are combat wounded and killed in action, Liberty 1932. 2022 and in god we trust five stars represent the branches of the military and um this is just remarkable um just great stuff here uh and you know i think tiny numismatic said he wouldn't mind uh the making this portion of the ribbon uh colorized as well but then again it may take away from the purple heart itself you never know now it says here the design features uh, whoops i'm going reverse here the design shows a nurse in a world war one helmet as she bandages a wounded wounded service member on a stretcher and it says here more than twenty three thousand women nurses served in the army and navy during the war and inscriptions are united states of america e pluribus unum and one dollar surcharge is in the amount of ten dollars for each silver dollar sold or authorized to be paid to the national purple heart honor mission incorporated to support its mission including capital improvements to national purple heart honor facilities it is a dollar it's colorized it's three nines fine silver and it is 0.859 troy ounce just like all other commemoratives and the morgan dollars it's got a one and a half inch diameter it's got the reeded edge it's minted in west point new york and it has no privy mark although that would have been really cool could you imagine a privy marked colorized coin so that would have been a double whammy right that would have been really, really cool. Now, over here from my plus one today, folks, and this is kind of a big deal, especially in the times we're living in here. It says here, and this is from Isaiah 2.4, kind of a big deal, like I said, and he shall judge, we're talking about the Messiah, right? And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares. And I never really understood that until recently, actually, and their spears into pruning hooks. You know what those are, right? Those ones that they, well, anyway, nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. And I think this is probably one of the most remarkable, and, I, and I'll tell you now, this is, um, like I said, something I just recently kind of had a, oh, that's what that means. So why would they beat their swords into plowshares, and why would they beat their spears into pruning hooks? Well, um, let's see, there's a global supply shortage, there's a food shortage, there's a pandemic, there's a world war possibly, a lot of stuff going on, and people could be using a lot of food right now, Yeah. So timing's everything, I guess, right? So think about that. Anyway, folks, listen, I want to thank you all for joining me today. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear, say, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a silver stacker. Out.